Oh. Hey there, Buskiteers. I didn't notice you there. You just caught me on my morning apple juice break. See? Uh, well, I'm on vacation. And, um... Sort of. And I, uh... I feel like something sort of science-y happened last night. But I was so full of apple juice, it's all kind of a blur. It seems to me that it had something to do with arthropods and fear, like that Science of Fear exhibit at the Science Museum of Minnesota, something like that. Ugh. If only I had video evidence to remind me of how it went. Oh wait, I do! Now if I only had a stock iMovie transition, so we could all watch that. And, um, I think I captured it beneath this waste basket there, if you can see that. It may or may not be there, it's actually very likely it's not, but if it's still there, I have some centipede capturing stuff. This is a Pyrex container and the uh, cardboard bottom from a Costco pizza. I think that should be enough to capture it. Uh, also, this is proof that I'm afraid of Absolutely nothing. Definitely not giant centipedes. I think there's any centipedes under that? Hard to say. Difficult to say. Capturing Pyrex. Okay. It's very fast and very angry. So. Holy shit, there it is. Ah! Check it out. Awesome. Once again, I am afraid of nothing. Although, I'm going to switch to, uh, I believe my red little video camera has a macro focus on it. I'm going to switch to that, and you're going to see it. It's got, it is pretty scary. It's got red legs and, well, here. Holy smokes. I think... So that's its head there, and then that there is its tail. And I believe those are stingers. I'm not going to test that out, but they look, uh, they look stinger-like. Pretty, pretty stinger-like. So I'm going to put the lid on this, and then I don't know, it was an accomplishment. I think you can agree with that, but I don't really know what to do with this thing once I've got it totally captured. Um, I don't plan on bringing it home. I mean, well, it's tired out now. Uh, and I don't really want to kill it because that doesn't seem fair to it. Um, so what? If I found some baby birds or something, I could give it a baby bird. So we'll see. You know, keep you updated. Well, that was sort of exciting, but what did we learn? I learned that the class centipedes belong to is called Chilopida. Therefore, the fear of centipedes is Chilopodophobia. Chilopodophobia. Now it makes sense that people are a little bit afraid of centipedes, naturally, because some centipedes can leave a little sting. That's what that one's doing. It's only when uh, that fear becomes irrational that it's technically a phobia. It's an anxiety disorder of sorts. Um, you might have noticed in the video I said a couple of times that I was afraid of nothing. That was the apple juice talking. It's not technically true. I, for full disclosure, am afraid of nuclear war. I am also afraid of zombies. I am also afraid of dying alone. And I am also afraid of getting hit in the head with a claw hammer. But, I'm not super afraid of centipedes. A little bit, but not chilopodophobia. Yeah. Alright, well let's um, move on from fear to centipedes. Hold on a sec here. What did I do with that centipede from last night? I think I put it under my hat. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's our actual little centipede friend before we go. Um, I looked him up. I think it's a species called... Uh, Scolopendra subspinipes, something like that. It's also called the Vietnamese centipede. 
Um, and I don't think it's native to Hawaii. I think uh, there's only, yeah, not native to Hawaii. All right, so last night I said I thought these little guys here were stingers. Oops, and I don't think they are anymore. There. Those little guys folded under its head, I think, are the actual stingers. They're modified legs that can inject venom into its prey. Um, and this is indeed a predator. And if I were to keep him as a pet, the internet says I should feed him crickets and maybe a baby mouse or something now and again. But, um, no offense to uh, Scolopendry here, I don't think I'm going to keep him as a pet. I have a dog. Uh, I just don't know that they would get along all that well. So, but it was, it was kind of cool, right? All right, check you later.